And the same could be said, I don't know what love is, but I know what clarity is. Because it's only when you're blocked, then you're unwise. And it's only when you're blocked, you, you don't know or don't behave lovingly. So, like, this is related also to um, the idea that love will save the world. But love won't, actually, because loads of people who are blocked and immature spiritually, they actually don't, um, they don't have the natural access to the love that they are. So rather than trying to pretend to be love, which is kind of good and admirable, it's still nice to try and be, try and be nice and try and be good and loving, etc. It's far more superior to actually unblock yourself and heal yourself and find the innate wisdom within you and find your deep intelligence and your loving nature. Because then it automatically flows like a river. So when you're blocked by conditioning, false beliefs, some people call it brainwashing, when your ego is another word for immaturity, when all of these are like ripe and rampant and big within you, when you're deeply blocked and confused, lost and confused, there's a book from, called From Confusion to Clarity, which I was thinking would be a really good name for maybe if I was to write a book too, which I have written two books, which they're below. But uh, I call myself a clarity and an empowerment um, coach, so to speak. Um, so... So I don't know what wisdom is, but I know what clarity is. So when you become clearer and clearer, you feel the effects within your mind, within your heart, and you see the results within your life. You become acting clearer, saying clearer, responding and reacting clearer to people and events and situations and struggles and losses and changes. So when you're not clear, you're cloudy, you're confused and you're, you're blocked. It's like a river that has a dam. You just, there isn't a circulation and flow. So you just don't know what to do in life, you don't know where to go and you don't know how to behave or respond. So you're kind of like walking in the dark with blindfolds. So the essence of this video is what I'm trying to say is, learn what love is, learn what wisdom is and know their relation to clarity and know how clear or blocked you are in different chakras or different areas of your life. There's family, there's relationships, there's work and career and um, that's work and career is related to your passion and purpose calling or your dharma other people call it so there's some areas of life there's also the physical aspect of life your diet and lifestyle aspect okay there's um business is re totally related to work career etc too so also your communication aspect and um, your your relationship with your past baggage how much which areas are you good in and which areas are you strong in or weak in or average in, know your strengths and weaknesses and therefore once you know your weaknesses and strengths you can get to improve everything, your strengths and your weaknesses. So you get to fine tune, optimize and maximize your strengths or any part of your life and you get to work on um, healing and letting go and um, improving in your weaknesses and get like listen to people. If you act like an idiot or like a baby or like uh, mean or something, whenever you act immaturely, which is another word for ego, like a sapling instead of a big tree, your your level of growth. So there's no judgment, it's just a description word. Lately on Facebook I also shared, recognizing is different than judging. Recognizing is different than complaining or condemning. And um, recognizing is different than dwelling. Like we don't have to dwell on something, we can just simply recognize. I mean you recognize something, that's clarity seeing the truth so the, my favorite quotation is the truth shall set you free and it does in all aspects of life every aspect every emotional issue every relationship problem issue co like confusion or struggle the truth will always set you free if you speak the truth you've unblocked an area of suppression within you where you, where you haven't been communicating which is very important to you so the truth sets you free there it allows you to feel good again at peace relax and uh, often it's, it's misunderstandings that cause, and communication. They say communication is the number one thing in relationships. And why is it? Because when you're not communicating with the truth, and the truth isn't known in the, in the picture of truth, then there's misunderstandings and there's arguments, of course. So when we get to know ourselves, which is my, my favorite biggest teaching, to know ourselves, um, that, and that means also to uncover the truth. Because when we see and recognize the truth, we get to know ourselves. It's, because when we don't know ourselves, that's we have all these false, limited beliefs about ourselves. And that's totally related to immaturity and the ego, which is the same word, synonym. So, 
in my life as I've gotten to know myself more, I've gotten to know which direction to take and what response to take too. And I get to fine tune, maximize and optimize everything in my life. Like personal, inner, spiritual stuff, like emotions, compassion, everything. As well as stuff like worldly stuff like business, fitness, lifestyle, health, diet. So physical and spiritual combined. So I'd highly recommend to seek clarity instead of trying to be love or trying to follow a principle or a teaching of another person or a philosophy. Because there's a million different philosophies, teachings, religions, um, gurus, YouTubers, to your parents, society. There's a million higher structures trying to tell you how to live and what to do. Um, I don't want to tell you what to do either, but I'd, I'd suggest, I'd suggest um, being your own leader and follower and boss and guru and acknowledge and realize who you are and the power that you have and the truth that you are and then you'll recognize it in others and you'll treat them with respect and you'll also be humble naturally loads of people try and be humble which is good it's definitely very nice to try and be virtuous but if you can find the natural virtuosity and humbleness love kindness and compassion and sensitivity that you are within yourself normally and unblock the unnaturalness and get connected with nature like in this garden for example I'm barefoot and getting the sun breathing the fresh air touching the plants having a flower bed the flower bed over there growing getting connected with nature fresh food instead of old food think of how unnatural the human species eat an old food diet every animal and insect eat a fresh food diet except for the odd exception like vultures but we aren't a vulture as you can see by looking at us so go out in nature breathe touch a tree touch the earth swim in a, in a river or walk walk in a river or the sea or whatever bathe walk swim play and rather than nature never forces it goes harmoniously in in curves so when you're rigid with your mind and you're fixed with your strict beliefs and like this way is the only way my way is the only way that's like a line a strict line that'll like wreck your life and that'll wreck your relationships too because you'll be full of judgment because you think your way is the only way and you'll be judging and condemning everybody it's immature ego type of thing which is no offense but it's just our level of growth so if you look at nature and balance they're the two principles to leading a successful prosperous fulfilling life nature and balance because nature you could just say nature even because nature is balanced but just for more understanding i'll say nature and balance because nature goes in, in curves like water always flows and splashes and curves never in a straight line when we put water in pipes straight lines or right angles that's when the water becomes unhealthy and loses its prana or life force which can be measured in purely in photography you can see the electromagnetic like life essence so also our blood vessels are all curvy and twisting and moving it's never straight lines so we, we have a pipe system in our body it's called the lymphatic system and blood system so they're all like twisty and curvy and circular etc so same with our philosophy in life we should copy and emulate nature we should learn from nature as well as animals which are nature unless they've been conditioned to like live in humans and like then we can condition them but the natural animal will eat naturally a fresh um, diet and it'll it'll rest when it's tired it'll listen to its body and it'll eat when it's hungry and it, nature always grows in harmony and balance so if we if we can learn from nature to um, have a live in balance with all areas of our life like I said like business health relationship family careers um, creativity um, work just doing everything in the sense of balance that's when we, we can we can be our own master and boss and know ourselves what we need and what works for us rather than what other people are trying to tell us what to do like some people, everyone will has a philosophy and tells us what to do I'm just trying to encourage you to find your own philosophy but listen to others too so I'm not trying to tell you to be closed I'm trying to suggest to be open and listen and learn from everybody be the guru and teach be the guru or the teacher and the student of everybody and nature so always be open to learning but at the same time the balance is don't be too close and the other one is don't be too naive so you either believe everything or you believe nothing if you don't you want to find a balance so you want to be skeptical yet open that's the, the secret so you question things but you remain open yeah um, so that's kind of most of what I want to say in this video um, this video is related to, to balance it's related to nature it's related to harmony it's related to 
clarity. And they're all related to each other. Balance, nature, clarity. Everything's related a lot. So my intention for this video is to help you have a better life and to find clarity basically and to enjoy your life more and to learn more from others and to sometimes encourage or help others like teach them so to speak like not 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 to try and be like an arrogant teacher or anything like that but to, to unblock yourself and i'd encourage you to get healing like energy healers have psychic medium or energy healers have worked very good for me to help heal my energetic blocks from the past but the main healing you can do is to work on yourself to be honest with yourself uh, get to know yourself and be honest because loads of people are living in denial and when you're living in denial how can you heal what you're denying you can't so you have to be brutally honest with yourself and, and recognize and admit your weaknesses to yourself and even admit your shortcomings or failings to others too including like closest people like your closest teachers your, your closest people are your closest teachers the people you spend the most time with such as your either your friends family partner or workmates whoever they may be so look at them for mirrors they'll tell you your weaknesses by reacting to your bad behavior so basically speaking others will often will they show you where you can improve by them reacting and getting upset with your bad behavior so that's what a mirror is and um, people will show you your weak points and so thank others when they get upset with you in a way like be grateful because then work on yourself to improve and find out your limited and blocked beliefs because when you have a blockage in your mind then that will create a lot of problems so, so find out ask yourself what is my belief in this situation um, that'll be another video i suppose but um yeah seek clarity and if anyone's interested i do clarity empowerment life coaching that's just the name i kind of call it. i change the name regularly so if, if you're interested, look in my links below, look at my, my two websites, ownfox.org and hireselfherbs.com. The herb shop is full of herbs, superfoods and enzymes and essential oils coming, coming probably by the time you watch this video. And this is to help empower and supercharge your body, mind, spirit vehicle, the one unit. And um, the clarity coaching is excellent too for healing and seeking clarity. It's all related to healing too. So hope you have a nice day and much love and many blessings thanks for watching and i'll see you again another time be sure to subscribe and share with your family will be greatly appreciated thanks see you